Are you wondering if the world is ever going to go back to normal? Are you thinking, what am I going to do with my business? Or how does my business have to shift and adjust to match with the times that we're in now? Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to the Women's Holistic Business Network. I'm Elizabeth, your host, creator, founder, all the things. And I'm excited to do this video for you today to teach and share with you the ways that I have been able to navigate through this past year and depending on where you are in the world and what your business model is, things may still be feeling a little bit up in the air. So my question for you is, are you online right now? Are you still navigating this? Are you feeling like sometimes you don't quite know what to do in your business? If that's you, post in the comments down below. And if you have gotten a lot out of this year and you're feeling like, yes, I can do this and my business is amazing, post that in the comments down below as well. How has this last year been for you? What are you navigating in your business now? And introduce yourself in the comments right now. Say hello, where you're watching from and what your business is. This is when we form the connections that are so vital in our businesses. Hello, Lana. Post below what your business is and what you're up to in your business and how this past year has affected you and your holistic practice, your spiritual leadership, your wellness services. What has been going on for you in the past year? That's what these businesses are all about. Hey, Martha, nice to see you here you are waiting for your tribe well there are some things i'm going to share with you all today that are going to really help you to navigate through the next steps in your business and to step forward into what is next for you as a holistic leader and i've been doing i've been in business as most of you know i've been in business for close to 30 years now and i've done a lot of different roles in terms of owning wellness centers and yoga studios publishing magazines, producing large scale transformational festivals, conferences, and events. And I've done a lot of things over the years that have really helped me to get ready for what's happened in the last year. And there are some things that could never get anybody ready for the things that have happened in the last year. And I've been thinking a lot lately about a video that I made about a year ago. You can search it in this group. We'll see if we can find it. And I called it something along the lines of act as if. Somebody write that phrase in the comments below and I'll tell you what I mean by that in a moment. But what does it mean to you, act as if? I heard this early on when our global situation was shifting and pandemic world was setting into the holistic business communities. And I heard this and I brought it to all of you, act as if. And this was early on, it was in the first few weeks of some shutdowns that were happening and the phrase was act as if let's act as if this is not going anywhere this was a year ago that i made this video act as if this is not going anywhere and this is going to be the way it is for years to come and i was being a little bit cheeky when i made that video but also also it wasn't just being cheeky it was being real it was like how do we have to be if this is the way business is from now on and those of you who have ever gone through some kind of trauma, health challenge, family relationship dynamic change, anything that you've gone through in your life that has been challenging and that you wanted it to end, one of the best ways that we can actually get through things is to act as if we have to live with it forever. Take a deep breath into that. If you're having physical pain or you're having financial struggles, act as if for a moment, it's not going away. And then what qualities would you have to bring up in yourself in order to live with it, in order to be with it, in order to be the space that holds it? Because when we can become that space that holds it, we then become the container for healing and transformation, which is different than I'm just pushing it away. I don't want it to exist. I'm I'm struggling, I'm fighting with reality, I'm fighting with what is. That actually creates this kind of energy in it, in us, doesn't it? And I'm not saying ignore the good parts ever. I'm one of the most positive people that you will ever meet. And people who know me can definitely contest to this. But what if we were to act as if the current situation wasn't going anywhere, whatever that situation is, how can we pull up our strength, our inner strength, our inner wisdom, our inner knowing, the inner qualities that we need in order to walk forward with clarity and groundedness and strength and courage 
How can we be better members of our communities? How can we lift our clients up? How can we make our businesses better? By using this, act as if. Now, this is something that I originally heard Reverend Michael Beckwith say, and many of you know who he is and will respect his work as well. And it was, what qualities do I need to ignite in my own soul in order to walk forward through whatever I'm walking forward if it never went away? And when I heard him say that, this was years ago, it stopped me in my tracks. I was like, oh my gosh, here I am being a little mispositive, trying to go over here and go over here and like make this better and improve this and, and work with this and consciousness development that. I've been on the self-awakening path of awareness and all the things for over 30 years. And in that time, a lot of it has been spent How can I shift this? How can I change my state? How can I get away from this? How can I make this better? But when we come around and we go, how can I be with what is? Take a deep breath into that, everyone. How can I really, truly be with what is in my business, in my life, in my health, whatever it is? How can I be with what is? This starts to shift our energy. And do you think that you might become a better leader, a more open woman in business, a more a more compassionate human being if you embrace what is. The Buddhist teachers teach this, embracing what is, what is, not fighting with reality. One of my favorite spiritual teachers, Byron Katie, teaches this, loving what is. And so if we're acting as if this is not going anywhere, whatever it is that isn't going anywhere, if we're acting as if this is the way that the world's going to be forever, What do you think it would invoke in you? Type in the comments down below right now. If you acted as if whatever situation you're currently in is not going anywhere, what positive qualities do you think it would invoke in you and your business? What do you think would result from this in your business? What do you think would be the positive benefits in your world and in your business with your clients if you were to act as if this is not going anywhere? Now, some of you are still in a place where lockdowns are happening and your business is affected by the global pandemic. Some of you are in different countries and different places where things are opened up and, and you're totally fine. Let us know where you're at so that we can form this network of helping and serving each other. Now, I've got some essentials to teach you. I always bring you some kind of tangible tools in these videos. I've got some essentials that you're going to really love to help you get through times like this or times like anything in your business. And number one is to act as if. So if you're going through something in your business, act as if it's not going to shift and then become an open vessel for the shift that's going to happen because of you opening to it. Number two, write these down. Number two is go with it. There's a really cute movie that I love called Just Go With It. And it talks about um, just going with whatever whatever is said in the moment, whatever is happening in the moment, those kind of things, just go with it. What if you were to just go with it? Some of us are still resisting, like, do I really have to get online? Is this really going to shift? What's going to happen in my business next? I don't want to make videos. What if you were to just go with it? What if I said to you, make a video today and you were to just go with it? without questioning and without asking, you were just to make a video in your own Facebook group or on your Facebook business page today as soon as we're done this. If I can make a video, everyone, by the way, I was so scared to make videos. If I can get on here and make videos, I know for sure that you can too. And it took me a while to do it. And I teach you all, you can go back through the videos here in this network. I teach you all how to do it with ease. You don't have to take as long as me to do it. So just go with it. What if you had to do You had to work with your clients online. Just go with it. What if you had to use Zoom? I just ran an incredible retreat for a group of my favorite, most incredible top clients just a couple of weeks ago, and we did the entire thing on Zoom. And it was deeply transformational, deeply nurturing, and deeply connecting. We shared with each other in incredible ways. We broke through, we rose up, it was magical. And seeing these women who I get to work with, working on their businesses and their leadership, on developing themselves as holistic leaders and community leaders, it's brilliant and incredible. And it was all done online. Can you imagine? Can you imagine a few years ago if I'd have said that? Because A few years ago, I was in the middle of leading thousands of live retreats, workshops, and classes, and I never imagined that we'd be moving it completely online. So 
just go with it. If I said, make a video, go with it. If I said, what if you had to run all your training classes, retreats, courses, client one-on-ones online? What if you just went with it and you just accepted it? How could it be beneficial? Think of all the fuel we're not using right now by driving around. Think of all the time that you save. Over the last year, I've saved so many hours of my time and so much money by not traveling around so much. So how has it been beneficial to you all? Post in the comments down below. How has it been beneficial to you all to step into and to just go with it and not resist what's happening in the world right now? Okay, so number one is act as if. Number two is just go with it. And number three, take a deep breath, is get online. If you haven't yet gotten online, or if you're still kind of online but in resistance a little bit, I'm going to tell you three important things that you can do to get your business online, and they're just simple. You do not have to be a tech wizard. You can actually be a tech dinosaur. One of my amazing clients said that she, her spirit animal is, is dinosaur because she's a tech dinosaur, and she is still doing incredible things in her business and leading and getting her message out there and reaching the people who need her by embracing some of the simple technologies. So the simple technologies that are essential in your business right now are to have some kind of Facebook presence. I love Facebook. You're here on Facebook. There are a lot of people that will say uh, Instagram or LinkedIn or YouTube or Twitter or all the different things. Go for those. Fine. But you're here on Facebook. I love Facebook for uh, as a platform for really reaching people and especially Facebook groups are really powerful. So I recommend you get some kind of Facebook presence in a Facebook group for your business. So and that's the first one is Facebook group. The next piece is have an email list. Don't let people just float around there. Have an email list, a way for them to really connect with you and to be with you, for you to connect with them and for you to keep keep track of them and have an intimate connection with them. There's so many forms of social media out there today that an email list is a really powerful way to stay connected with people that's outside of social media. So I recommend that you do have that. And the next piece is just a simple website, a simple one page. How many pages, everyone? Type it in the comments below. One page website. It doesn't have to be huge or fancy. You can actually make what's called a landing page on MailChimp. If you have MailChimp, it's one of the things that I recommend. It's for managing your email list. It's simple and really easy. And it's got this cute little chimpanzee on it, which I really love. So you can actually make your simple one page landing page website on MailChimp. So those three things, a Facebook group, an email list, and a one page simple website. Those are all you really need for an incredible, fully functioning, successful business that brings you in all the income that you need where you can be finding clients and serving clients. Now, a Zoom account is actually another good thing. I'm gonna to add to that list and you have, you have a Zoom account. So number one, act as if. Number two, just go with it. Number three, get online, have a Facebook email website. Okay, and I'm gonna put Zoom account in there and Zoom account. And then the final piece of these essentials that are going to help you move forward with your business now and forever is to get support. Don't try to do this alone. So many of you are out there and you've been doing it alone for years. I know that I, and I did it too. I tried to do it alone for so many years and it was kind of like an uphill grind because I didn't have the support behind me or around me. I didn't have an incredible team that I was working with. I didn't allow people to come in and help and support and share the vision of what I've created now. And I was only able to create what I've created now when I opened my heart and let support in. I was only able to really start to enjoy my life and take three day weekends and one week off a month and integration week and, and have more fun and have more flow and more ease and more time in my business when I let support in. Support could mean hiring somebody to do something that you don't need to be doing. Support could mean uh, getting a buddy or a friend to just talk about business with. If support could mean hiring a coach or a mentor who knows the path and who knows the way, who has experience in business and who can guide you authentically and in alignment towards your dreams. So whatever support means to you, get support. I invite you to type in the comments down below what support means to you. And oh, it's so good to have you all here. 
Martha, you're so welcome. I love that she's writing Resist to Resilience and have you all writing. What are the essentials that you know are going to guide you through in your business for the rest of this year? Type in the comments below. What wisdom could you bring to this community? Type it in the comments right now. This isn't a one-way conversation with me just telling you stuff. This is a community. This is where women can start to interact and lift each other up. So I want to know from you, what's something that you have done over the past year that's lifted you up? And can you look back on a year ago and consider, wow, have you been in resistance? What's happened? Or have you just gone with it? Have you acted as if it's not going anywhere and started to put your business online? Do you have an email list? Do you have a Zoom account? Do you have a Facebook group? If you don't have those things, now's the perfect time to start. And do you have support? So type in the comments down below right now, what's this year been looked like for you? And what do you recommend? What's your number one hottest essential tip that you could share with all of us to help to lead us all forward as well because I'm here to be in the conversation with you you are all such incredible leaders and advisors and teachers and practitioners in your communities I'm here to be the support for you and this network is here to be the support and guide for you so excited to be able to work with you all you're incredible and keep doing what you're doing Keep doing what you're doing because it's so important. When we work on our businesses, we truly make the world a better place together. So share this video. Tag tag a friend or a colleague in this video right now. If her name shows up gray, it means she's not in the group yet. So you got to invite her, which is amazing because you're going to make her life better. So share this video. Tag somebody in this video who you know could benefit, who's a holistic leader, who's just maybe had a challenging time over the past year and needs a little boost. And... Implement. What is the one action step you're going to take as a result of this video? Are you going to get a Facebook group going? Are you going to get your email list sorted out? Are you going to get your one page website up? What are you going to do in your business as a result of what you've learned here today? Move it forward. Take steps forward. The best thing that we can do is just to take one little step at a time. I know that you can do it. You're incredible. I'm here for you and I'll see you next time. Bye everybody.